ActiveOps is a management process automation company servicing global enterprises with large numbers of people engaged in clerical administrative work. If you reduce what our software does to its simplest, it enables our clients to more precisely balance work and capacity, which is really hard to do both consistently and at scale. We have about 165 people in seven offices around the world, and we have about 80 enterprise clients. Our customers are insurance companies, banks, outsourcers, which service that type of community. They are too big to fail organizations, which is really important in terms of the uh, per persistence of our client base. And our software supports them providing globally significant infrastructure, your pay credit card payments, your, um, you know, the check clearing systems, the kind of things that we all take for granted but have to work in society. So our software provides structure and, and, and data and process to how people balance work and capacity. How much work have I got next week? And can I lend a colleague an extra person to cover some of their shortfall? You need to have information and you need to be aware of what your colleague's problem is to make that kind of choice. If you imagine that multiplied by 10,000 people across 14 different nations, that's a really complex, difficult problem to solve. And our software facilitates that decision. The world's not getting any less complex. And therefore, the requirement for organisations to be better and better at controlling the variety of complexities and challenges of the world is only growing all the time. We have a track record of mid-teams growth consistently over many years. And I think there's no reason to believe that can't be sustained. When you look at the market opportunity, it's very large. Um, more specifically, and the benefit of focus uh, that we do enjoy with banks, insurance companies and their related servicing, there's a very clear 750 million a year of, 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 of revenue opportunity there. Uh, of, of our, say, top 20 customers, which is worth about 10 million a year in, in, an, in annual recurrent revenue, there's 70 million of addressable communities within customers that we already have contracts with. Part of the reason we're picking up the number of new customers we are is because I think in many ways the pandemic has, has crystallised the need for more precise structured control. Organisations have realised how much of their control depended on having people in the same four square walls. And as their people have gone to their homes and taken their work with them, clearly the way in which you manage people from a well-being perspective, uh, as much as a, a work management perspective, needs to be upgraded. And ActiveOps ticks the boxes around providing systemic solutions to that problem. We have around 80 large corporate customers uh, who we bill for the SaaS revenue that we have, as well as for the training and implementation of the program. We bill those customers annually in advance, uh, so we get cash ahead of delivering the service, and that gives us a strong cash generation for the business. We have very high gross margins for the SaaS business, around 80-85%, and billing annual in advance gives us cash coming in ahead of EBITDA. Given the annual in advance billing, we have very strong operational leverage within the business as well. So that means that as we continue to grow the business, we won't need to invest proportionally in the same level of cost to drive profits in the future. We have no debt in the business um, and strong cash um, following the disposal of the Open Connect uh, business back in October of last year. So the cash balances in, the, in, in our business at the moment are very strong and uh, give us confidence to invest as we move forward. We're dealing with global enterprises, so being listed on the London stock market and the associated verification and endorsement that represents, I think, will be very significant. And I think our growth is primarily organic, our track record supports the rate of growth at which we're predicting, and our commercial model with its cash flow and its uh, annual and advance contracting also supports our capital. In terms of acquisitions and so on, clearly with the benefit of the capital markets, we have the opportunity to do that. And we have done this in the past um, very successfully. Um, but uh, our, our opportunity, I think, is, is, is there within our means to execute our strategy. I am genuinely proud of the extent to which ActiveOps is already a standard 
across the world. But I think the opportunity remains enormous to expand that. And so over the period of the next few years, as the need for structure and discipline in how organisations evidence to stakeholders that they're in control, that they manage their costs efficiently, that ultimately they capture the opportunity from other investments you'll hear, like robotics and a number of other digital transformation type exercises, I think active ops being at the heart of that transformation, giving people the tools and the training and the structure and the method to exploit that is an incredibly exciting opportunity for us. And I think we've got all the platform in place to do that. We have the most developed solution and we have the track record. And I think just as importantly, we have the team and, and, and the client base that will endorse that, that really gives us an exciting opportunity ahead. Yeah.